Alright, time to read some of my viewers' comments. Let's see. Um, you are cute. Alright, let's get this straight. The word cute is predominantly used to describe the sweet look of an animal or a little child. Aww. The term is sometimes used to describe an adult, but only in informal situations, between close friends and lovers. Generally, describing someone you find physically appealing as cute in British English is just a bit... Ugh. And with so many other wonderful options to choose from, why continue to use such a childish term? So I'm going to give you 10 alternatives to the word cute, and I invite you to write any additional options down in the comments below. Then take some time to read some of the other comments and give a thumbs up to the ones that you like. Here goes. Number one. You're adorable. To adore someone is similar to loving them. So if someone makes you feel a sense of love every time you see them, then you could call them adorable. Number two. You're lovely. Saying someone is lovely is like calling someone nice. We use this adjective to describe many things, including people. For example, we had a lovely day, eating a lovely meal with Jennifer. She is lovely. Number three. You're very endearing. Endearing means inspiring affection, similar to adorable. An endearing person is someone who makes you feel fond of them. Aww. Number four, you're charming. Think of Prince Charming, a very pleasant and attractive person. Have you been charmed by anyone recently? Do you have a charming smile? Number five, you're sweet. An adjective often used to describe the pleasing taste of sugar. Sweet can also be used to describe something or someone who is pleasing, kind or thoughtful. For example, my neighbour is sweet. She often waters my flowers when I'm away and baked me a cake for my birthday. Number six, you're delightful. A delightful person is a person full of delight and they often make everyone around them smile. Number seven, you're engaging. To be engaging means to attract and hold someone's attention with your charm. For example, a good film is engaging. A talented singer is engaging. You simply cannot take your eyes off them. Number eight, you're enchanting. To enchant someone is to put them under a spell. Therefore, if you are enchanting, then people will be mesmerised by you, attracted to you, as if by magic. Number nine, you're captivating. Along the same lines as enchanting, we have captivating. To be captive is to be a prisoner, to be held, unable to free yourself. So if a person is captivating, you cannot stop looking at them. You cannot free yourself from wanting to be near them. And finally, number 10, you're beautiful. It's such a beautiful word, beautiful. And it means pleasing to the senses. A person may be beautiful to look at and therefore pleasing to the eye. They may have a beautiful voice, pleasing to the ear. They may have a beautiful personality, pleasing to the mind and soul. So now you know 10 attractive alternatives, you can reserve the word cute for this and this. Aww. So cute. For more English lessons, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Ding dong. But for now, go and put the kettle on. Let's have a brew. Oh, you can't beat a proper cup of English tea. English breakfast tea. I'll see you later. Bye.